This video is a detailed description of my new prototype automatic two aspect color signal. It's intended for real DCC specialists and dare I say it, geeks. The signal is normally green. The train is detected as it passes the signal. After a delay, the signal turns to red. After a further delay, it turns back to green. The train detector is an LDR, that's a light dependent resistor. So when a train passes over the light dependent resistor, it obscures the room light and that changes the resistance of the LDR. The PIC microprocessor detects this change in resistance and trips the signal. The trip threshold is automatically adjusted to the current ambient room light. The signal operates normally as a DCC signal. Here I've got address 21. And here I demonstrate the automatic operation of the signal. It turns to red as the train passes and then when the block is clear it's timed to turn back to green. The timings are adjustable. I'll explain how I do that later. If, on the other hand, you don't want the signal to return to green after the train has exited from the block, then this is how you tackle it. You change the address to 22 and set the turned signal like that. Now this sets the, the system so that it doesn't return to green, and I'll demonstrate that now. And to return it to return to green, I set address 22 straight. And now the signal will return to green when the train has passed out of the block. For reverse running, the signal doesn't trip. If the next point is set against the train, then the signal turns to red. Like that. In addition, if I now try to change the signal back to green, it doesn't react. Now I'm going to show you how the address is set into the DCC decoder. I set address 99. There's an acknowledge. And now I set the address I want, which is 21. And now the signal will respond to address 21. Thus, now I need to set the address of the point, which is the interlock, and sets the signal red when it's changed. In this case, I set address 98. Now I have set the address of the point. Thus, it's point number 5. Now, if I set point number 5, thus, it's blocking the changing of the signal. So if I now set point number five straight, the signal will now change to green because the point is in the train's favor. Now I'm going to demonstrate how the timings can be set using DCC commands. So to change the time for the green to red transition, I set address 23. And every time I push this button, the delay increases by half a second and when I press the other button the delay decreases by half a second. I'm going to reduce it to, to the minimum half a second and I'll use my hand to demonstrate that. So it immediately went to red. By the same token I can change the delay from red back to green with address 24. This time every time I press this button that delay increases by a second and every time I press this button, the delay decreases by a second. So I'm going to decrease it to the bare minimum, which is one second, and show you how it works. Notice that every time I put my hand over the sensor, you get an acknowledge. I drilled a hole in the track, and beneath that hole is a light-dependent resistor, which is connected into the pick. This light-dependent resistor senses the train and it's 
automatically adjusted for the current ambient light level. So you'll see that on the circuit there are no potentiometers to set it up. The signal is driven directly from the pick. Those are the three wires directly from the pick. And the circuit is simply driven by the DCC power, which in this case I've connected separately so that I can make the adjustments and set up the addresses. So to summarize, this is an automatic color signal with all the commands and adjustments made via DCC commands. The PIC, as you can imagine, is very, very busy and it's programmed in assembler with over 1,000 lines of code.